Greetings! Hello! And welcome in Valmiera, the pearl of the northern Latvia. Today I'm here with my lovely wife Liene and my name is Albert. And today we are going to experience the many faces of Valmiera, the taste of the Valmiera and many other characteristics of our city. Yes, but before that I would like to tell you that in a comments you can put thumbs up or just comment some things or share a video and uh, in our way if you will be interested more about the history or the things we tell there will be links where you can find them and uh, just uh, find out more information. That's right. Valmiera is a city of patriots. People usually say that Latvian flag comes from Cesis, but it, not, it, it is not entirely true. The legend of the Latvian flag comes from Cesis. Yes. But the modern prototype was made here, just around the corner. Imagine, in 1916, the journalist Janis Lapinch placed the flag outside his house to represent that he's Latvian, that he's proud, and uh, I want to remind you that that was even still in the Russian Empire. Yeah. Another episode of patriotism was in 1988. The locals placed the Latvian flag up there in the old water tower, right on the rooftop, to show their patriotism, to show their courage under the Soviet Union. So as we can see, it still flies there to remind us about the patriots of Valmera. Yeah, let's go! Yes, so uh, in our days we call Valmera Valmera, right? Okay. But uh, since the Middle Ages and from since the Hanseatic times, Valmera actually had many names and nobody knew what was the correct name for it. So basically there was no one particular name, yes, there are many names for exactly. it. Exactly, so for example, De Voldemer or Voldemar, Volmar, Vladimirets, Volmir and so on and so on. And uh, in 19th century actually there is one time where I have seen on maps that Valmir's name is Valmirs, like in male form. In Latvian male form, that's yes. interesting. But <laughs> do you remember the latest, the modern legend of the how its name uh, oh. have been discovered. About the dog, you think? Yeah, do you know? If you know the latest legend of uh, Valmir's name, write it down below in the comments. Yes, and if you don't know, just come to Valmir and find it out. That's right. So right now we're here at the St. Simeon's Church, the oldest building in our town. It is a witness of long history of Valmir. It experienced the Reformation and many other things. Uh, as you can see, we have a very high tower. It's more than 40 meters 42, high. 42, I think. Yes. And on the, on the tower, you have a view platform with a nice panoramic view. Feel free to enjoy, to come and climb up. It's quite, uh, quite a job to get up there. Yes, and if you can't get up or are just too lazy to get up, you can uh, see the panoramic view from down because there is camera what shows everything what you can see on top. But in the way, on the tower's top, you can uh, see a new exhibition about the history of St. Simeon's Church. Okay. Hey, oh. you forgot to tell one thing. What exactly? We are walking right now on the old cemetery, what was uh, placed here till the 18th century. Uh, but, but uh, you know, don't worry, there is nobody under us anymore. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Uh, in the end of the 18th century, the cemetery was placed outside the town. On the other side of St. Simeon's Church, there is a, a town hall square. That is a place where uh, uh, annual uh, St. Simeon's Fair has been placed. Yeah. So every, ta every year on October, more than 300 uh, craftsmen all around uh, Latvia and even abroad, they come here to trade their goods here in Valmir at the St. Simeon's Church. Yeah. And that reminds me another story about uh, the great 
and a little simian. Hmm. You remember that? Yeah. So I want to tell it to you too. Uh, the gre uh, gray building is municipal building of Valmier, and in the Soviet times it was a hotel yeah. with a cafe and so. And of course it was called uh, um, Gaoya. So as a river Gaoya, as almost everything on those days were called Gaoya. <laughs> and locals didn't like that idea, they made their funny nickname. So they started to call it uh, Little Simeon or Simonitz yeah. in Latvian. Yes. <laughs> so today we have the Great Simeon as a church and the Little Simeon, the, the municipal building. building. <laughs> That's right. And what we can see in front of us, it's a great uh, Valmira castle. This is my favorite building actually in Valmira. Why is that? Well, uh, maybe because it reminds about uh, the old times, the Middle Ages here in Valmira. That's right. Imagine those three windows up there uh, in the 13th century. It was built by Teutonic Order, of course. And you can see in those three uh, windows that Order brothers could uh, hold their meetings there or feast. Yes, but uh, Valmira has always connected the past and the future. And right now inside this, uh, these walls of the old Teutonic Order castle, uh, they uh, are building a new exhibition hall uh, where will be connected the past architecture with the modern architecture and inside it there will be a, a very modern digitalized <laughs> exhibition about Valmier's history from the 13th century till the end, the end of the 18th century. So the main topics will be the Hansa time, yes. the uh, uh, Teutonic castle, yeah. And what else? Mm, the, the town itself. Town itself and the spiritual life of citizens of the city. Okay. Um, maybe we could play a game. What kind of game? What is the first or association or word what comes in your mind when you call, uh, hear name Valmiera? I would say it's art. Why that? People in Valmier are very artistic. Okay, that's For true. instance, we can see the uh, uh, open-air uh, art benches. Yes. We have at least a dozen of those uh, in many places in, in, uh, in Valmier. They are made by uh, prominent Latvian artists. Yes. Well, for me, I can't even choose what to tell first. Uh, I would say that Valmier is safe and green because uh, you can get to the forest from the center of Valmier in like I said five minutes okay I would say yeah to connecting with uh, what you just said Valmier is really fast yeah you can you, you can quickly move uh, around you with can, a bike with a bike or just walk we have very good uh, routes uh, and uh, trails hmm. uh, what else yes that's true so what would you say more Maybe oh, I know it's musical, of course. <laughs> musical? Yes. Do you mean? By, what do you mean by musical? It's like the hills are alive with the sound of music. That yes, kind of... exactly, okay. and maybe even better because here we can see the musical school of Valmier, and actually is the first musical school out of Riga. We have many talented teachers and many talented uh, <laughs> students. <clears throat> in this uh, school and uh, yes uh, we have open air concerts and traditions long long traditions uh, in a winter time we have the festival right yes, the winter music festival that's yes. right i almost forgot about yeah, it yeah and uh but the funny thing about this building exactly is do you do you remember what it's originally actually i do but maybe you can explain if you want to say. Okay, to I will be listeners. the one who will explain. So this was built as the city Sauna, the bathhouse. Oh, the public bathhouse in Sauna. Yes. That's right. And uh, many people said that in the 20s, the spa in here was actually almost the same as Baden Baden. Of course, yeah, because uh, they were using the, the mineral water what was discovered here in Valmir. And on, we are drinking 20s. it still uh, till our days, actually. That's right. 
Okay, I think I start to feel a little thirsty right now. Really? Yes, I think we should go inside the herbal garden the, that we, it is made by Valmir Museum and I think we can find something tasty there. Yes, exactly. We can always find something tasty in there. But actually in Valmer you can never get thirsty or hungry because we have so many restaurants, cafes and uh, two times in year you can uh, go to the restaurant weeks and uh, before that you can check out the menu and you will know what to ex expect there. It's not a big surprise but it's always so tasty. Uh, we have gone there for several times as well and of course not far away outside from the Valmir we have Valmir Moja brewery oh yes that is great hey and they have made us oh, a little a little treat treat here uh, something has fallen it's windy today so hey these are the uh, non-alcoholic drinks provided mm. by Valmir Moja brewery yes so right. how do you think which would we choose this one. Well, let's I haven't see. tried this one. <gasps> this is new. Black currant soda. All yes. right. Here you go, my lady. Thank you, my dear. Uh, in this uh, herbal garden that is made as a prototype from the Middle Ages, from the medieval herbal garden, you can always meet someone. There's always someone around to tell you stories about the. Uh, delicious and healthy teas or cheers cheers hey really there are always some very nice museum ladies who knows what to do with all these herbs to drink them or just so use as a medicine as a medicine and the yeah, you can always ask them. They are very polite and uh, knows everything about. Remember, I had these great headaches one time. I just uh, came here and they gave me some very delicious tea. But after that, I felt like I was flying. But I felt <laughs> really, really good. Oh, I hope it, it wasn't something illegal. No. <laughs> so <laughs> as you can so. see, 24-7, uh, you can come here and get lots of in information about the uh, herbs. Uh, and teas, but in the same time, <coughs> you can use this place as just a recreational walking uh, place. Yeah. All right, you can go. So you are not thirsty anymore, right? No, I, I'm good. Right now, we I think we should go. We must go and see the main street of Valmira. Let's go and see what it is. What it is. And if you know what is the main street of Valmira, you can. Put them, put it down on comments. Yes, you can write down your experiences. <sighs> so what I mean by the main street is, of course, Gaoya. The river Gaoya is the main reason why Valmir is actually placed here, at these banks of the, at, at these hills. So imagine in the medieval times, the merchants, the Hansa merchants, yes. and the German craftsmen, they came here. They settled down at, by the castle and they started the town. Gaoya unites two parts of the city today. Yeah. And that's another reason why we, we all love this river. But another thing what I, I would like to mention is we have a unique transport here on our river. It is a, a Gaoya tram. So it's a little ferry boat that goes up and down the stream usually in summertime so I recommend you to come here and visit us on summertime yes so and I always say that uh, if uh, Daugava is the river the main river for all Latvians then Gaoya is the main river for people who live in Valmier that's right it's our it's our river. Destiny river. <laughs> Good say. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Valmir. I want to say Valmir 
is the capital of all sports. Yes. We have many, many uh, stadiums, we have swimming pool and all other kind of uh, places and, and uh, facilities uh, that we could, uh, we, we, where we could go. Yes. For instance, up, up the stream we can see the goat rapid and it's the best uh, slalom courses in Baltics. Yes. So you can come here, it's a good uh, training spot and it's very good and excellent place for the contest. Yes. And as I said before, that we can get in forest in five minutes, actually along this way we could uh, get to the two routes. One is St. James Way and the other one is Baltic Trail uh, Measure Kachis. Okay. Uh, but yes, actually I need to confess to you. Where, where when I was younger, I went there in the Gold Rapids to watch the sportsmen, how they are okay. training. <laughs> fit sportsmen. <laughs> yes. But uh, we must remember that Valmer is not all only industrial or green or sports capital or cultural but it's a romantic place as well that's right so here this this is the uh, 17th century uh, fortification rampant and on the top of it there is a, a little view platform uh, it's called uh, the walters hill the walters uh, is the name of the german Baltic German family who lived here, very important family, and the hill is named. Well, it's not a. Uh, uh, so the, the hill is named after their name, yeah. and this platform stands there for more than two hundred years, I guess. Yes, it was built in uh, the first time. It was, I think, in eighteen twelve. That's right. Legend that uh, they built it because Napoleon was. Crossing through. Cruising through Russian Empire. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. But today it's a place for dreamers and lovers. Yes. And uh, connected with this place, there is a legend about a girl named Rose. And uh, she was... She was in love. But if you want to know more about this legend and other legends about Valmiera, you can totally use the uh, audio guides that we have in Valmiera. It's true. Yes, and uh, it's very uh, easy because then you can use uh, them without guides as, as we are. <laughs> so what do we have? Let's sum up. We have walking routes. We have... Sports. We have sports. You can rent a bike in the city. That's right. We have many tastes. tastes. Uh, we have culture and great history. Yes. And we have very nice Instagram spot. That's right. This is our Instagram spot. Feel free to visit Valmir and find yours. Yes. And explore. Yeah. Maybe find your favorite place in here. Yes. That's right. So. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Looks like we made it. Look how far we come, my baby. We might have took the long way. We knew we get there someday. They said, I bet they'll never make it. But, but just look at us holding on. We're still together, still going strong. Still the one, still the one I want to, the one that I belong to, still the 